think it's time to build the mobile duck house. In past videos, I've talked to you guys about my plan to build a mobile duck house. One that can both house all of my ducks and keep them safe, but then also something that's light enough and easy enough to move across the pasture so that I can move it through our integrated permaculture orchard. What I actually resolved on doing is taking uh, a design for a certain type of chicken tractor and making it the duck house. And I'll make a couple of modifications to be able to house the ducks, but the idea is it's a nice good sized pen that can house the ducks and protect them and keep them safe, but at the same time it's light enough and easy enough for me to move around by myself. When I say like a chicken tractor, it's more of like one of these. Um, you know, kind of looks a little bit like a house. The model and design is actually the uh, John Siskovich uh, stress-free chicken tractor. John Siskovich, if you guys don't know him, is this farmer down in Connecticut. Um, really smart guy, makes a ton of great content and videos. But he sells these uh, chicken tractor plans online, and so I bought a copy, and today I'm gonna build the stress-free chicken tractor, but turn it into a duck house. So I guess it's time to start building this thing. joints are really hard to make. Good morning, ducks. Jeez, I really need to get these guys onto outdoor pasture. I mean, look at that. That's pretty covered. When I checked on them, I actually put down fresh shavings on top of the other stuff, and they've pummeled that down and pooped all over it again. I guess it means I have to bust my butt today to get this duck house done. I've got a bit of a confession to make. I've never actually uh, bent conduit before, but uh, I guess there's a first time for everything, eh? I mean, the roof's a little wonky, but I think it'll work. I mean, it's a duck house. It's not a... Uh, I don't know, famous building, insert a name. It's too hot out here, I can't even think. Well, I think I'm finished for the day. I, um finished putting the chicken wire on top of the tractor, but oh man, I'm not gonna finish tonight and I'm not gonna get the ducks in there. Um, so, I don't know, I guess I'll be back up. I gotta work tomorrow, so I'll get up really early, like 
should be about daylight around 4.45, and I can start working on it some more. I still have a couple hours to go. My inability to construct things is uh, definitely a limiting factor here. So I'm pretty much done with the build of the duck house here. Um, I've got the base all built out. I've got the roof structure completed. I've put in the chicken wire uh, pretty much all around and the hardware cloth all around. Now the major things that remain are I've got to put a tarp uh, up over here for the roof, finish the door, and put the wheels on the back, the rope on the front, and uh, some braces to make sure this whole thing doesn't fall apart. Um, I'm feeling very close. I think I'm going to be able to get everything done tonight. And so tomorrow I can move the ducks into the duck house. completed the duck house. I think it's looking pretty gosh darn good. I'm uh, excited to get the ducklings in there. Because it's gotten so late and it's dark and it's actually starting to cool down finally, as you can tell by me not sweating so profusely, um, I'm gonna actually wait until tomorrow to liberate these guys. But uh, yeah, this should be a lot of fun. I think this structure is gonna really work well. So I wanna say a lot of thanks to John Siskovich uh, if you're interested in finding the plans that I got to, to build this, you can buy them from them. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Um, but yeah, uh, this is, this is going to be the start of the duck adventure outside.